Hello, welcome. Here we're going to respond to this question that says, is, is there a way to type the symbol for union, integer, or real numbers? So there is. And one nice way to do it here, we're in Canvas, but in general is to use LaTeX, L-A-T-E-X. And if you go here into Insert an Equation, you are essentially using LaTeX, as it says right here. And you could paste LaTeX from other things, um, but there's all kinds of symbols in here that are quite useful in mathematics. In this case, we are going to go to operators and we'll see the command for union and intersection. And there's a little font down there. You see it says backslash cap. Well, if I type backslash, usually that's uh, the way I start to type in some kind of specific symbol or command in LaTeX. And if I type in cap, there you can see the intersection, which looks like a cap, I suppose, versus the cup, which is the union right there. Now, as for the specific symbols, in general, in LaTeX, you might need to import a library. Um, and we can also go here and look at Greek symbols to see different symbols that are available here, classic symbols like pi. But you can also type those in. Let's say if I type backslash pi, I get pi, or backslash capital pi, I get capital pi. I can get different symbols that way. I'll include a comprehensive list here of LaTeX Greek letters and there's other commands that you can look at as well. But on top of all of that, to directly answer your question here, where is it I'm having out here? Um, it turns out, in I don't need to do any special importing of certain symbols or libraries here. If I just type backslash n, I get natural numbers. And if I type backslash q, I get rational. Pa backslash um, z does not give me integers. Why? Hold on a second. I got it working. And backslash r gives me the real numbers. There we go. And then backslash, let's say z, capital Z, there is our integer symbol. So we can get those symbols by typing in the backslash and then the corresponding letter, and we're good to go. Thanks.